Coach PJ here. Do you feel like everyone is focused on price and that everyone wants a deal? This can be a very slippery slope for most small business owners. You see, larger retailers can spend a lot of money promoting this in the media, conditioning the consumer, and it would seem that because of this, we are all required to do the same. You might hear the concept that you can make it up in volume. I urge you not to be fooled by this approach. The truth of the matter is that actually knowing the numbers in your business will help you make better business decisions <clears throat> as it relates to price and how and when to increase or decrease your prices. In reality, most businesses on average return about 10% on sales before tax. This means that after deducting the cost of the goods or services and all the expenses incurred in running the business, there's about 10% of the original sale price left as your profit. So if you discount, say 10%, then the 10% you are giving away is the same 10% you would have made in profit. So typically a 10% discount will leave you with no net profit. Here's another example to demonstrate the dangers of discounting. If your present gross margin is 30% and you give 10% discount, you need to increase your, your, re, your revenue by 50% to make the same amount of profit. If you're hearing that your price is too high, then check out this video on how to respond during the sale. When you're planning the profit for a product, a particular product in your business, be sure to calculate how much you plan to sell at full price and how much you plan to sell at a discounted price for the lifetime of that particular product. Many small retailers will discount because their competitors are and not really consider what it might be costing them. You need to understand that discounting is not always bad. If you have obsolete or seasonal stock or specific cash flow requirements, this can be used as a strategy. However, there should be a specific cutoff when using these strategies, understand the implications. One of the main reasons small businesses discount is to acquire customers. You've been in that situation where you just think that if you have a different price, they'll sell, they'll sign. Um, it is far more profitable to work out other clever marketing strategies to change your sales process than to discount. Experience shows that most customers attracted to a business through discounting rarely if ever come back again. <clears throat> Discounting in business should be dealt with very, very carefully. Because it is so prevalent, business owners get trapped into thinking that it is a legitimate and profitable strategy. And truthfully, they're often the worst offenders within an organization. Savvy customers will even ask for the owner because the owner is more apt to negotiate than a sales associate would be the owner is often the worst offender for discounting. Moving forward, the next time you're inclined, inclined to discount, stop, review your profit margin, and look for other marketing and sales strategies that will create the same effect without impacting your bottom line. If you got value from this video, subscribe, click the bell to be notified when a new video is uploaded. You can also like, comment, or share this video. Until next time,